Hey, what's up guys? I feel like coming at you with another White Shorts deck profile and I apologize guys that this isn't the Leafa deck profile you guys have been asking for. We will be doing Leafa very, very soon. But today I'm doing a deck profile of a deck that is very near and dear to my heart. It is the first set that I ever wanted to build coming into White Shorts and that is Madoka Magica. So the reason why I'm doing the deck profile today is because this week I believe we found out that the new set based on the mobile game, Magic Record, will not be coming to English. So this deck, probably because of like the game, uh, it wasn't licensed, I believe it wasn't licensed outside Japan. So uh, this deck profile is a Japanese deck profile, of course, but this, like my Nico and Silica deck profiles, you guys can check up on the channel. Uh, this is 100% buildable in English. So guys, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel, check out my otherwise videos, and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some of my other Madoka deck profiles, and if you'd like to see this deck used in a match. Without any further ado guys, let's get into the deck profile. So first up guys, we have three copies of Kyoko Calm Autumn Day. So there is a level zero reverse of Kyoko from the first set, which is an uncommon, but I definitely recommend you play this one. So she is a generic level zero reverser, but she also has the shift ability. So shift is an ability that a lot of Madoka cards have. This is the only one we play with shift, but uh, there are a lot of cards in Madoka with shift. So how shift works is after your clock phase, you can, uh, if this card is in your clock and you're at level zero, you can bounce it back to your hand and put another red card in exchange. Um, another card you guys may have seen a lot that has shift is the pre promo Hoppo from uh, Abyssal. So works the same way as that. Next up guys, we have three copies of Sayaka's Admiration for Mami. Very, very strong card. When she's placed from hand to stage, we scry the top card of our deck, and when she checks, we check the top card of our deck. If it's a magic, we add it to hand to scarb one. This card is very, very good for its time. It's from the uh, first set of Monica, and it's still a very, very uh, good card. Uh, the reason why this card is also really good for Monica is it has Mami and Sayaka in the name, so it helps, it can trigger work off um, the events that specifically requires you to have mommies, and obviously it's a wish target. So very, very good card. Just guys, we have one copy of the Sayaka Brainstormer, Sayaka Memories of a Witch. It's a spammable uh, Brainstormer, pay one, uh, search ditch. It's a, At the end of the day, it's a wish target. It's not your main Brainstormer. Uh, next up, guys, we have four copies of Kyoko Shares an Apple, or as most people will probably refer to this card as Apples. You may have heard that term before if you play Weiss. Uh, so when she's placed from hand to stage, pay one, grab a particular card from your waiting room and add it to hand. And she also gives 1,000 power to that card. That card is the uh, second year student Mitakihara Middle School student uh, Sayaka Miki. So something along that. I, I probably got the, the order of those words mixed up. But pretty, pretty good card. Next up, guys, we have three copies of Mother of the New World. So if you have two or less stock, this card gains 1-5 power. So pretty good first turn cards because she's a 4k level 0. I mean, they can. there are so many reverses, bombs and reverses these days. It's not as good as it used to be. And uh, a lot of other cards with this effect do also gain a level, but they normally lose 500 power. So still pretty decent card. And you can summon it out with um, Devil Homer after you summon Devil Homer and eat uh, Ultimate Mother card if you play him on a green. Next up, guys, we have three copies of the main brainstormer that Madoka has, which is Homura Watches Over. It's a very old card. It's from the first set of Madoka, so you might be surprised that all it does is pay one, rest two, brand, deck search, brainstorm. So that's it. No power, no nothing. Moving on to level one, guys, we play four copies of Sayaka Miki, a second year student at Mitaki High Middle School. Just a 1 0 vanilla 5 5. And then, of course, the apples gives it 1000 power. And bonds to it. Very, very good card. Um, obviously, outclass now. But if you get a bunch of apples out, this card can get pretty big. And this card used to be very scary back in the day when um, you just had first set Madoka. Next up, we got three copies of the Kyoko Level 1 Reversa, which is Kyoko Suspicion Towards the World. It is a generic Level 1 Reversa. It also has an effect that when it becomes reversed, you can pump another one of your character's 1-5 power. That is the main reason I play three of it in the deck, because it helps my grade threes get over some cards if I need to play it. Uh, it can also give 1-5 power, power to uh, my vanilla Sayaka, or the next Sayaka I'm about to show you if I really need to get that reverse. So, very, very good card. Probably why it's a double R, because of the 1-5 power pump. Next card, we have Sa Tea Party of Magical Girls, Sayaka Miki. Now guys, this is a card that a lot of people tell me not to run in the deck. It is a 1-1 with Clock on Claw, but I feel like, considering Madoka has very little hand fix, uh, this card is actually quite good to run at 1 in this deck. So basically, of course, seeing Sayaka, it's a wish target as well. 
So you can discard any number of climaxes you want from your hand to give herself to give this card 1,000 power. And when she reverses, you draw one card for each climax you discarded. So can help you um, draw cards or ditch climaxes from your hand pretty pretty decently. We play one one five uh, one one zero counter. It's only a one five counter because again, this is an old card. It is a wish target. It's called Sayaka. Uh, Sayaka's honest question. At the end of the day, it's a wish target, and it also is one five power. So. Moving on to grade two, we have one copy of the Madoka Anti-Change, which is Kyoko Determined Girl. It's a very old anti-change, so it's pay to sack a character. And Madoka, at least this particular build, is very stock intensive and doesn't build a lot of stock, so you don't always want to anti-change. But at the end of the day, it's a 2-5 camera. We have two copies of Homura Traveling Through Time. It has two effects. We only care about the free deck refresh. So if you have five cards, five or less cards in deck, you play this you refresh your deck and uh, all your characters get plus 2k. So very, very good effect. You can combo with the Sayaka and uh, early play if you can get it out. Moving on to our level two events, we play four copies of the main reason why people actually play or played Madoka back in the day is Sayaka's Wish. Now this is an event that is also in Love Life and I know it's in Vivid Strike. It's probably in a few other sets as well, but uh, it's a very, very good effect. So it's a 2-1 event counter, meaning you can play it in your turn or your opponent's turn when they attack you. You uh, send a character you control with Sayaka in the same to the waiting room and you heal the top card of your deck, sorry, heal the top card of your clock to hand and put this into memory. Very, very good effect as um, it gives you compression, it stops on reverse effects, and it heals you one. And it also gets past anti-heal because, or um, well, at least what anti-heal used to be, I can't say what anti-heal will be in the future, but uh, it heals to hand, so very, very good card. Pulling off at least one or two of these can potentially keep you alive long enough to win the game. Um, you're probably never gonna get four off my, in one game. My best record was, I think, three in one game, but very, very good card. Next up, guys, we have two copies of A Magical Girl Appears. So Madoka still has uh, not very many consistent ways of salvaging characters or um, getting multiple pluses. This card isn't really a plus, it's a break even, but if you ditch a climax it could basically be a plus. So it's a 2-1 event uh, where you salvage two magic characters from your waiting room and uh, you, oh sorry, salvage two characters from your waiting room, it doesn't have to be magic, and then uh, you can discard, then you discard one card from your hand, so very, very good. Or I think it might be magic, but everything in the deck is magic anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, next up, guys, moving on to grade three. We have three copies of Sayaka Mickey on play heal and gains 500 power for every other magic character. And unfortunately, when she's reversed, she gets sent to memory because she used to be a very, very strong card. Unfortunately, they don't really do erratas in Weiss as far as I'm aware, so yeah, this card's just not as good as it used to be. It is a wish target, and it does gain power, it does heal you on play, so I mean, that's why I play three of it. Uh, we play one copy of the Sayaka early play, which is Sayaka guided by the cycle. She can be early played from your hand if you have six or more climaxes in your waiting room, which isn't super easy to pull off. Uh, and then during your opponent's draw phase, she gives plus 4k to one of your other characters, uh, to one of your characters, so she can pop herself. And then climax combo with the pants climax, uh, Sayaka's true form. You may pay one and on attack, search two. So not a horrible card, just a little hard to early play. And you're probably not really going to pull it out at grade three. Next up, guys, we have two copies of our main finisher, which is Kyoko uh, relying on intuition. So this card unfortunately is the main finisher that uh, red blue focus decks have so it's uh heals on play which is always good and then uh, on attack pay two discard one card from your hand and deal one damage to your opponent obviously it can be cancelled it is a very costly burn one but it doesn't require a climax combo and for its time this card was pretty strong and you can actually always pump this up with your um psycho early play if you get it out and then finally play one copy of homura Hope and Resignation. So this card is still a very, very good card. So it is a box top of PR, or this card is also available in a foil uh, to be pulled as your foil from your pack in your Rebellion box. She is the effect on play. Uh, she gains the effect on reverse, pay one, kick to clock. And you can rest uh, any number of characters you want to give her one five power for each one you reverse. So not a consistent finisher, but still a decent, you know, a decent thing if card if you want to get something out off the field pretty quickly. 
Moving on to our climaxes, guys, we play a climax spread of five, ga uh, five, five gates and three pants because, again, Monica needs hand and there is no consistent way to salvage. So we play three copies of Relying on uh, uh, Reunion and United and two copies of Psycho vs. Kyoko. I mean, you can play whatever combination of those that you want. It doesn't really matter. The good thing about Monica is they can play eight gates if they want, but you don't want to play eight gates because... Um, yeah, if I'm playing the Tea Party Psyker, so I want sometimes I want climaxes in my hand. So that's why we play three copies of Psyker's True Form, which is a pants, which on trigger you get a climax back to your hand. All of these do give 1000 power, one soul as well, which help our vanilla Psykers get a bit bigger if we need to, and also help our grade threes uh, with power as well. But anyway, guys, that is my deck profile for my red, green, blue. Mother Cadet profile. If you guys would like to see this deck in action, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see some of my other Mother Cadet profiles, like my Mono Green, uh, my Janky Kyoko Sayaka, or my Janky um, Mami Nagasa, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, check out my other videos. And once again, guys, I'll catch you for my next video.